What is up everybody? It is Moritz here from Section Store today and today we will be having a look at this scrolling announcement bar right here. Due to its very good feedback we got from you guys, I'm going to do another video on it because we did some small changes to it and I thought it's worth having a look at it again. So I'd say we just jump right into it. Let's head on over to the Shopify Section Store app right here. You can simply look it up and after you've done that, you just want to be installing it right here. And when that is finished, we head on over to the Shopify admin area of your very own store where you want to be looking for section store and then the apps right here, which should redirect you to this interface right here. So that's the app itself. We want to head on over to the sections panel. Let's let that load up real quick. Exactly. And there we have the scrolling announcement bar already. So as you can see, um, I'm owning this already, but for you, it's going to be a one-time purchase of $9. There are no hidden subscription fees or anything. That means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. So after successfully buying it and installing it, you head back to the home area of the app where you should find the scrolling announcement bar somewhere here in your collection of sections you bought already. So let's check it. Yeah, there we have it. Perfect. So just click on it, add it to your Dawn Light theme. And after you've done that, you scroll back to the top and simply open up the Dawn Light theme right here, which should direct you to the editor which I have opened up already. So you can see it right here to actually install the section or add it to your design. You go over here, type in SS announcement or scrolling bar in this case. Yeah, that's the one. So first thing we want to be doing is putting it all the way to the top and then we're going to save it otherwise it's not going to appear in the first place you only have to do that the first time you actually edit the section and here you have it already first thing we want to be doing is actually changing up the text lovely products and yeah we don't want cheap prices well, and we can add another one as well. Access free, Checking. easy as that. And add as many as you want, and you can also remove them again. If you want to remove them, just click on it and remove the block. Easy as that. And another thing we can do is customize the whole thing, which works right here. I'm gonna get onto those CSS classes in a second. First thing we can change is the font size can see that right here. We can add a link to the whole thing. We can change the animation duration. That means it's either going to go faster or slower after it's going to repeat itself again. We can change the background color. Maybe let's put a little gray. It should update in a second. And we can also change the text color. Let's save it up real quick so we can actually see what it looks like and it should load and there we have it let's continue with the target classes right here so in this little text it suggests that if you leave the target classes the whole section will continuously appear on top but i'm gonna give you a quick example how you can actually position the section on wherever you want in the editor simply delete those classes right here save it up and then you can see right here, it's already going down there. So you can drag it to wherever you want to. So it kind of operates a little bit like the scrolling text component we already built. So I think that's quite a nice little change we made right there because it's a lot more flexible to use. So let's just undo that real quick so we can have a look at it 
as its initial state. So yeah, now it's back to normal again. Let's save it up so we can see it again. And one, two, three, it should hopefully appear up on top again. There we have it, sweet. And that is almost everything I wanted to cover on that thing. So let's open it up real quick. We can see it here in the live version, which is looking good, which pretty much brings us to the end of the video. So I've covered everything. You can see it here in the live view, the scrolling announcement bar. And I hope you guys found that useful. I showed you a couple customization options you can do on that whole thing. And if you like the video and also enjoy the section itself, feel free to leave us a like or a follow, whatever you think is the most reasonable. It really helps us to keep pushing out new sections almost every day, hopefully. And yeah, have a good one and peace out everyone.